When the first ambulances arrived on the scene, they could have had no idea of the scale of the tragedy that was unfolding around them. The street outside the nightclub packed with revellers who had managed to escape. Just a few metres away, people frantically tried to smash an opening in the nightclub's wall to free those still inside. There was only one exit in the entire building. Those who managed to escape the flames and the thick, acrid smoke did their best to get others to safety. The local hospital was overwhelmed. There are a lot of people on all the floors, the corridors and in A&E who still haven't been identified. Everyone out here is desperate. Initial reports suggest the fire was caused by a member of a band on stage setting off a flare which struck the ceiling of the nightclub and ignited layers of acoustic insulation. Many of the dead died from inhaling smoke. Others were trampled to death in the ensuing panic. The country's president cut short a visit to Chile to deal with the aftermath of the tragedy. I want to say to the population of Brazil and to all those in Santa Maria how, at such a sad time, we must all stand together and we will overcome this. Many families made their way to the nightclub in search of information, hoping against hope that their loved ones had made it out. The focus here will now inevitably shift towards the cause of the blaze and the safety procedures that failed so badly. There are already reports that the nightclub's fire certificate was out of date. End of Brady, Sky News.